Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another instant noodle taste test. Today, I'm going to be tasting noodles that are flavored with Pringles. Now, these are Japanese instant noodles, and they're flavored with Pringles. Now, of course, Pringles are the potato chips that come in a can, and these particular chips and noodles came all the way from Japan, sent to me by Paul from Critical Eats Japan. I will put his link to his YouTube channel down below. Paul, thank you so much for including these goodies. Paul also sent me sea grapes or umiburo. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. It's an amazing, gorgeous seaweed. In that package, he also included these little extras. So super excited to taste these because we have instant noodles that are flavored like potato chips. So we've got yakisoba and we've got a ramen style noodle. So the yakisoba style noodle is a dry noodle. We're going to cook this with boiling water, but then we're going to drain the water. While this instant ramen style is more of a soup. In case you've missed my other instant noodle taste test, I will include a link to the ramen 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 playlist up above and down below, which includes all my taste tests of instant noodles, including lots of yakisobas, weird ones that are flavored like chocolate and strawberry and really, really hot ones. And interesting, bizarre flavors like chicken nuggets and french fries. <laughs> so I'll put that link down below in case you're interested. All right, so let's make this one first. It's the sour cream and onion flavor, and it takes three minutes to cook. This is made by Ace Cook, Cook Happiness. The strainer to drain out the water is included in the lid. We lift up flap A to flap B. That's so satisfying. Okay, take out packets. There's our noodles in a little brick. Now we're going to add the packets into the noodles. It smells good. It smells like sour cream and onion. Mm hmm So we add that to here. Ooh. Ooh, this is like an onion oil. Look at this. Oh yeah. Just to that little fill line on the top there. Latch it down. So while the noodles are cooking, let's taste the flavor that they're inspired by, which is the Pringles sour cream and onion chips in this cute little diminutive can. I don't imagine these are gonna taste all that different from the US version, but let's see. And here are the chips. And they look very similar to the Pringles chips that we have here, although these look a little bit smaller. Actually, the last time I had Pringles was when I did a Thanksgiving feast, and each chip represented a different part of a Thanksgiving meal. Very curious. I think that was the last time I had Pringles. And based on my memory, these are a little bit different. The Japanese version seemed to be a little bit flatter, less curled, and they seem a little bit smaller. But one thing I do remember from that taste test is that it was better to put the curved side kind of facing down, so the concave part of the chip was facing your tongue, it was a lot easier to eat. I've always eaten them like this, but in actuality, it's easier to eat them like this. See, let me show you. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. Those are great. And to me, they taste just like the sour cream and onion ones that we can find here in the US. Same signature texture and flavor of Pringles, Potato chips, to me, they taste a little bit like instant mashed potatoes. And the texture is very, very even and homogenous. The crispness is kind of odd. It's not crisp like a kettle cooked potato chip where you have a continuous kind of like crispness. This tastes like it's been kind of reconstituted and put back together again. It's a little bit like the bologna of potato chips, I imagine. In terms of its texture and its kind of instant mashed potato flavor. It's not bad, it's just not what I really necessarily crave when I want a potato chip, but definitely now that I place it in my mouth, it definitely feels smaller than the US version of Pringles. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that I've tasted the sour cream onion chip, let's compare it with the actual yakisoba. Oh, I should have put the sauce in after, I think. Whoops. It's been a long time since I've had yakisoba, instant yakisoba. Let's try this anyways. So now you peel this little vent off and it reveals, very satisfyingly, a little mesh area where we can strain out the water. Now I'm gonna be straining off all my flavoring, which was really dumb on my part. But alas, I only have one of these. I still think I'll get the gist of the flavor, but here we go. Oh, there's all my flavoring. 
don't do this when you make yours, okay? Don't, don't. <laughs> oh man. After we drain the water, this is the point where we would add the seasoning back. Okay, don't do what I just did. <laughs> oh, rats. Oh well. This is a pretty good portion, I have to say right off the bat. Eat the lucky moss. Mmm! Those are actually pretty good. The noodles are much bouncier than I expected them to be. Pretty good texture, I have to say. <clears throat> the flavor is pretty good too. A little bit sweeter than I expected. Does it taste like the chip? Somewhat, yes. I have that sour cream and onion flavor. I don't necessarily taste the potato flavor of the Pringles, but sour cream and onion, yes, definitely. Not so sour creamy, more just kind of an onion flavor. And I have to say, I like the onion oil in there too. It kind of coats all the noodles. It gives it a little bit of moisture, a little bit of extra fat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It actually reminds me a lot of a noodle dish my mom used to make my brother and I when we were kids. And she called it yumi, which is basically oil noodles. And she would use a garlic oil to dress noodles. That was absolutely delicious. She just put a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, and this lovely garlic oil. So, so good. And that's what this kind of reminds me of because you've got this nice sheen of the oil on there and that great oniony rather than garlic flavor, but really nice, pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so let's try the next instant noodle, which is this one, another Pringles flavor, and this is jalapeno onion ramen. Super huge, big portion. And this contains three packets. Another seasoning powder. Generally speaking, there's not a lot of spice or heat in Japanese food, so I don't expect this to be too hot, but maybe I'll be surprised. Okay, now I'm gonna add the little vegetable bits. Looks like it's mostly onion and there's some togarashi, which is some chili rings in there as well. While that is cooking, this is the jalapeno onion flavor. That's interesting. Whenever I associate jalapeno flavored things here in the US, I always think of a green pepper, but it looks like the seasoning on these chips is kind of a, a yellow orange color. These definitely smelled more cheesy than chili while the instant ramen smelled more jalapeno-y. Mmm. Oh yeah. I like those. Mm-hmm. Very assertive, good, strong flavor of jalapeno or chili flavor. Really great. Not much spice whatsoever, which doesn't surprise me. Just maybe a tiny little bit of heat, tiny little spit. There's a little bit of dairy flavor in there as well and some onion, but mostly it's about the jalapeno. Like those, those are yummy. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's check on the noodles. Ooh, look at the noodles, those look beautiful. Stir this around. Itadakimasu. of hair today. In terms of heat, I can feel the heat much more in the ramen noodle than in the chip. This one definitely feels spicy. I like it. It doesn't have as strong as a jalapeno flavor. It's not as distinctive as it is in the chip, but I like the amount of heat. Just a little bit, just a little bit of heat. Similar to the yakisoba, I don't necessarily taste any potato flavor, but I do taste some similar flavors in terms of the seasoning that are both on the chips and the noodles. This is similar, but not exact by any means. So along with the instant noodles, Paul included a couple more extra Pringles flavors. So this one is a chicken broth soy sauce ramen flavor. I love the ambivalence of the Pringle chip tasting like ramen noodles and the ramen noodles tasting like the potato chip. Just like, they're just not sure, right? Okay, let's go back to the chip. Immediately when you open these, you smell the flavoring of these, which is very savory, a little bit sweet, kind of chickeny, kind of caramelly too. Oh, I thought they were gonna be more soy saucy. I thought they were gonna be more brown, but they're not. Wow. Hmm. That 
that to me tastes really, really artificial. And the seasoning they put on there is very, very strong. You hardly taste the potato chip at all. Same signature potato crunch of a Pringle, but the flavor is weird. A little bit chickeny, smokeny, definitely chicken bouillon, no celery flavor in there. Soy sauce, but I don't care for that one at all. Very, very aggressively heavily seasoned, and to me, it doesn't taste all that much like ramen noodles. Although, if you were to lick the inside of an instant ramen container, it probably tastes a lot like this, actually. That instant noodle-y flavor. Yeah, don't like that. <laughs> and for my last one, I'm gonna taste this, and this is another noodle-flavored potato chip, and this is Ika Yakisoba, and Ika is squid. The smell isn't very strong. I was imagining it to be very kind of seafoody or shrimpy, but it's not. Mmm. <laughs> I like those. So similar to the ramen flavored potato chips, the yakisoba chips taste very artificial, but I like the flavor combination better. The eco flavor or the squid flavor tastes a little bit like shrimp chips, and you've got that fake flavor of, of soup base as well, but I think it works better in the Ika example, better than the chicken broth. Mm hmm Oh, it reminds me of those Korean sea snacks. Those are awesome. They're like puffed up sea creatures. What is the name of them? Korean friends, do let me know in the comments down below. Those ones are fantastic, beautiful little sea creatures that are really light and airy and hollow, but they have a great seaweed, seafood flavor to them. That's what these taste like, almost exactly. Mm, mm-hmm. Alrighty, so there you have it, a potato chip and instant noodle taste test of some interesting Japanese flavors. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had any of these flavors before or if there's ones that you think that I should try. Big thanks to Paul for sending these to me and for making this episode possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye!